Well, we all know it's important to get a good night's sleep, but now we're learning that a lack of sleep could actually cause some major and surprising health problems. Q13's Eliana Gomez explains in this week's Healthy Living. Normal sleep, most people probably can't define it. Take snoring, for example. A lot of people snore and do nothing about it. But did you know that snoring can lead to stroke or erectile dysfunction? Now that I've got your attention, let's dive right in. Let's start with the signals. My eyes are getting heavy during a meeting. I think attention and concentration, focus, so people can say, I have brain fog or you know, my spouse tells me they told me something and I don't remember. You know, so it can even be these sort of memory issues. Board certified neurologist and founder of the Sound Sleep Guru in Bellevue, Dr. Meredith Broderick has spent 13 years sending even the most challenging insomniacs into REM sleep. She says poor sleep could be the route to most of your problems. There are certain medical conditions that for sure we would want to uh, check people. So high blood pressure, glucose intolerance, so even if you're a pre-diabetic, you know, something like that, um, chronic migraines that are hard to treat, depression, anxiety, those things all get so much better with treatment of, you know, sleep apnea or any, whatever the sleep disturbance is. Dr. Broderick says sleep disturbances are more common in women than in men because of all the hormonal changes that women go through at different stages of life, like menstruation, pregnancy, the fourth trimester, and menopause. A sleep study is the best way to determine unhealthy sleeping habits, and modern technology makes it incredibly easy with this disposable test called WatchPat1. You would just start the test on your phone, you would wear it overnight, take it off, um, upload the data in the morning, and then I would give my patients a call that day and tell them if they have sleep apnea or they just snore. If lack of sleep is attributed to oral snoring, that's where Dr. Katherine Christian with the Snoring and Sleep Apnea Center in Seattle comes in. If you look in the back of your throat and your little uvula, that punching bag, is big and inflamed, you have an oral snore. Both doctors say prescription pills are not the best remedy, especially long term, because it isn't natural restorative sleep. They say a natural remedy like melatonin can help for some. And here are some do's and don'ts. No caffeine eight hours before bedtime. Avoid alcohol before bed. No electronics one hour before bed. Be consistent with a regular wake time and be active during the day. Experts recommend cognitive behavioral therapy to treat chronic insomnia. And when asked if CBD or THC products help with sleep, Dr. Broderick said because of the various chemicals in marijuana, there just isn't enough research to confirm if it actually helps achieve restorative sleep. And for more on our healthy living stories, you can head over to q13fox.com slash healthy living.